Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. May I present to you the man who intends me harm. This, uh, this Seleucid has brought many legions of his best troops. And by best troops, I actually mean legions of pajama spears. Just, just pajama spear after pajama spear after pajama spear. He's got his, uh, silver shield swordsman, of course. He's got some eastern slingers. Oh no, oh my, but it's just pajama spears. Just pajama spears. So Molfar requested that I actually fight this battle, so I am. I'm doing my typical uh, tactic here of uh, pray that they fly themselves into my javelin blender. And then I will flay them for their hubris. I'm going to have to kill some silver shields, so we'll see how that go. I've got my uh, general, Melina, my queen, out here. I'm going to have to start slaughtering some spears here in a second. Oh boy, here comes the first round of slingers. Are they in range? No, they are not. They will be soon, though. I They have a ranged advantage. Let's get over here. Uh, is their angle obstructed or something? Yeah, I can't fire from here. Great. Let's uh, move to better positions then. I need to at least be able to shoot my enemies. Yeah, I'm going to start taking some fire here. Ick. You think? You're, oh man, they're coming with their sh silver shields first. This is actually kind of cool. Hold on. Let's let's support this angle with the slingers. Okay, javelin time. All the javelins, all the time. Let's do this. Haven't gotten any kills on the general yet. He might not get... Oh, man, they're dying by the droves already. I mean, if you had three javelins sticking out the front of your shield, you'd drop the shield. That was the point of javelins. All right, time to attack. Okay, uh, frankly, I'm just going to rear charge these uh, pajama spears here. Okay, how long can these... Uh... These 80 and rapidly diminishing Levy Freeman last. Not long enough. Guaranteed. You're not... Charge? What are you doing walking over there? Yeah, you think they're wavering? You think? Yeah, this is... This this be doomed. With these silver shields in the middle of it, not taking any casualties from that initial volley? Yike. Yike. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Get in there, queen. Oh, man, I wish a Levy Freeman were unbreakable. That'd be that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not gonna happen though. You've got to just hit something already, lady. That'll do. Grab three units at once. Why not? Okay, now I'll charge this. Just so I can have charged something. That seemed to affect that guy. Everything's a high threat over here. Slingers, you guys are pointless. Oh my god. <laughs> now come out, attack that. I'm just gonna cycle charge here, back and forth. They're gonna go after the slingers, or we're gonna come back and hit some spears. Go after oh god, we're about to lose Levy Freeman. Alright, let's go back in here. Why aren't you guys done yet? Come on, I rear charged you and everything and now I'm losing. Ugh. Another big hit. Look at all those red dots. That's what I want to see. Yeah. More red dots. More red dots. Oh boy. Get in there. Don't let them don't let them through. You two slingers. Everybody gets in there now. Okay, let's get out here, charge that. Rinse repeat. Rinse repeat get that last cavalry out of there come on come on come on okay and then we rear charge again how about you you look like you want to run away okay no more infantry over here just my slingers and skirmishers getting uh getting attacked now 
and it looks like they're turning around to meet my um, cavalry charge. They sure have. Let's uh, let's leave those spears alone. Can you all please rout the stupid eastern spearmen? Thank you. Okay, there goes my queen anyway. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And are we done? I think we're done here. Mulfar, why are you tell me to do these things? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, uh, I, I I took some time to do some soul searching uh, between last week and this week, and um, I went and I found people who know better than I do about Rome too, and their advice was to do exactly what I'm doing right now with Galatia, pretty much. Like, there's some variations on a theme here, but my strategy of coming after this faction in particular was the uh, was the right pick. Um, and now I have to beat buttloads of uh, of Eastern spearmen who are sacrificing their bodies to protect Silver short Sword Shieldmen and I or Silver Shield Swordsmen. And yeah, that'll be fun. So I've lost Iconium. I have just Ankyra and the next province left. I'll just betray it later. I can, I can, it'd be nice to not have them attack me. I'll be honest. It would just be nice. Cappadocia is going north for some reason. I guess they're going after Pontus. Okay. Subject gains notoriety. Shut up. Okay. Requires attention. A young boy with an uncanny resemblance to a member of your family has appeared. He claims to be the man's son by the daughter of another tribal leader. Ooh, okay, let's adopt him. I'm totally okay with that. I'm sure that has consequences. Okay, so there's Sardis rebels over here, Sardis rebels over there, but that's no longer my land. And but I do need to worry about this army coming after me at Ankyra. Um, my garrison here is probably. So, so, how can I see the garrison? Be quiet. Um, don't know, don't know. I know. Ah, there it is, okay. I've got three Galatian swords, one Galatian spear, two Celtic tribesmen, two Celtic skirmishers, and walls. This is my army. This batch of... I'm going to have to deal with these rebels sooner rather than later, or else they'll just take Pessinus. <laughs> but if I don't fall back, I'm going to lose in Cairo. So, I... Uh, you know, when you have to choose, you have to choose. So, we're going to go back to Ankyra. And we're going to recruit units. We're gonna look specifically at melee defense, which means Levy Freeman is the way we wanna go for now. They are gonna help me out with um, auto resolve. Melee defense is apparently the biggest determining factor for auto resolve, I've learned that. Um, okay. I can't build anything else here right now. Right, uh, I, my technology, I've got one more turn there, that's fine. I can upgrade this building in Pessinus. Um, I should also start taxing here again. Yeah, okay. This provides a garrison. And normally I'd go for more food, but garrison right now is just too valuable to me. So I could do that, or I could go so this comes with one spear, two tribes, and two skirmishers. So this is one spear, two tribes, and two skirmishers. So this does not improve my garrison any. Um, it consumes one food, but it does give me at least a little bit of public order and growth. Uh, or I could just get two light horses. So I'm going to go with that, though I doubt I'm going to last the three turns to take advantage of it. So I'm probably just going to save my money. Um, because I bet you in two turns, this our rebel army is going to attack and it's going to be too much for me to handle. I'm gonna write Pessinus off. So, can I dismantle? 
Do I gain money if I dismantle? I see no indication that I would gain money from dismantling, so I'm not going to. And Kyra, like I said, I can't build anything here. I'm recruiting the these troops. I'm not going to keep blowing my money away on mercs. Um, I honestly, I think, I think that's it. I think that's all I can do this turn. I do have a spy. I could have used her. I need to use her to do stuff like um, stealing food. Okay, Pontus is falling back from the Cappadocian army. Strange. Is Cappadocia at war with me? No. No, they're not. I did not go to war with them. Okay, so that gives me that long lost son. His mother eventually came forward and proved the truth of her son's words. The boy truly is his father's son. Important character has been gained. That's cool. Okay, uh, we're going to work our way towards... Where is it? We're going to need... We're going to need something out here. Oh, headhunt. Headhunt was the most important thing I needed to pick up here, and I've gotten that now. Um, let's see about... This is movement range for armies and fleets. I do like that. However, I think it's time I pick up the Celtic Field Systems. Okay. Sardis has taken back Iconium. My guess is the Seleucid army left, and then the Sardis rebel took it over. That's interesting. Seleucids have also taken Sidae now, but <laughs> Cyprus has taken Tarsus. Okay, okay. This is manageable. Um, I need to get my spy's eyes out here, because I don't know what's going on. Alright, I have no idea. Me it must that army must have moved to C Day. Um, okay. Dear Cappadocia. Get off my lawn. They hate me. <laughs> uh yeah. Not great. Not great. I'm not at war with Sardis. Okay. All right. Um, dear Sardis, are you at war with... Hold on. Are you at war with the Seleucids? No. Okay. So they're not interested in non-aggression pact. Um, I did see some... Hold on. Hold on. I think Pergamon and Bithynia will actually want to trade with me, maybe. Or not. Let's just sort this by people who like me. Bithynia does not want to trade. How about Pergamon? Hey, I got a trade deal. Okay. Bithynia, it'd be nice if you wanted to trade with me. He's confident, but he's treacherous. And he is a defensive ally with Pontus. I just got to keep that in mind. Um, who else likes me right now? Sipper still likes me. I've got same blood going with Tylus. I wonder if Pontus will trade. No. Okay. So for the time being, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm worried about Cappadocia betraying me here. But maybe I actually want to fall back to Pessinus and see if I can't hold this off against the Sardis rebels. Um, I'm going to march on over this way. And I'm going to recruit some more. You guessed it, Levy Freeman. And since I'm here, I might as well pick up that light horse. Okay, we'll end this turn. I'm making I'm making moves here. I really would like it if uh, Cappadocia left. <laughs> would really appreciate that. <laughs> They're not leaving. <laughs> They're making themselves at home outside my capital. Persia and the Seleucids have broken their alliance. That's cool. Um, alliance has been forged between Sardis and the Seleucids. Okay. Satrapy declares independence. Persia has declared its independence of the Seleucids. So, am I at war with Persia? Because maybe I can stop that. Dear Persia. Peace treaty. No. 
They don't want it. Okay. They got their freedom from the man who forced us into war and then didn't care anyway. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start stealing food from... Uh, I, I guess I don't have that ability yet. We'll just go ahead and run back and forth between these two places and see what we can learn. Sabotage successful. Uh, let's take a look at Eurydice. What's this? Nabatea? Okay. Alright, so we can see Antioch and what's going on out there now. That's cool. Um, yeah, I guess we're I guess we're gonna go fight this. Excellent. We're gonna take advantage of that nifty auto resolve right there. Well done, well done. Hey, it's even a famous battle site now. Uh, let's see, to kill or to release? We'll release them, they're just rebels. Ready for further orders, thirsty for battle. Okay. Let's upgrade that bard. And push towards C Day, I guess. I'm gonna come down here. Get none our way. And we're gonna recruit, you guessed it, more Levy Freeman. And we're gonna go after C Day. C Day is going to be in the third different <laughs> territory, but at least I'm gaining ground here, and I'll be gaining a port too, which is significant. Um, I'm worried. I'm worried about a Seleucid army popping up, but if there is one, it's down here at Sea Day. Right? That's where it's gotta be. I'm gonna end this turn. I think that's a champion over there. By my spy. Because it didn't look like an army. Celtic field systems. Rebellion imminent back home. Okay, yeah, this is a Neoptolemus, a Seleucid hero. Kill it. Misdirection. Probably not going to be successful, but we're going to try. Failed. All right. Okay, let's start sneaking forward here and see what we find. We find C Day undefended, so we're going to take it. Oh, yeah, we're taking it. I'll resolve that. Let's see here. Uh, we'll go with aggressive. Okay, C Day is mine, and I have a little bit of a bank account. Um, yeah, we're just going to occupy. Let's upgrade the Wandering Warriors here. They get another tradition. Uh, inexorable Horde is weapon damage inflicted by all army units. I like that a lot. Combine that with Formidable Fighters. Just more weapon damage. More and more weapon damage. Okay, time to convert stuff. Convert. 2,000 funds remaining. We're also going to convert this. Um, I'm not going to worry about the Muster Field quite yet. Because so I've got 1,700 funds remaining. I'm going to come up here. I need to recruit a new army, which we will do with, uh, I can't ever remember who is in my family and who isn't, so we're going to check it out. Um, I'm looking for Makari, who is my daughter. Where's the son that, is that Amilo over here? Man, really small child, wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we need Makari. Makari, 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 there she is, Makari. Reinstate the legacy of your mother. Boom. And we're putting you on a noble horse, absolutely. Get in there. And we're going to recruit units, you guessed it. Levy Freeman. Time to grow up indeed. 
Okay, can't upgrade any of this yet. To upgrade the farm, I am eventually going to need iron tools. Let's see about iron tools. Boom, two more turns. Thirsty for battle. And I can't afford anything. Oh, wait, I can. Am I, is this a full 20 stack already? Three, four. Five. Yeah, it is. 20 out of 20. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. Uh, I think. I think I have new trade routes. Diplomacy. Yeah, look at that. Dear Bithynia. You sure you don't want to trade? He's sure. Athens. You want to trade? No, he does not want to trade. A hey, Cyprus. You want to trade? No, no, Cyprus does not want to trade. Uh, hey, Gnosis. Hello, Crete. Awesome. Okay, all right, fine. Nabatea. Greetings, yes. Well, thank you. How about a trade agreement? It's money for both of us. We both get money that way. Money, money. Money for me, money for you. Everybody's happy. Trade with me. Oh my god. Dear Rhodes. Trade with me? Non-aggression pact. With a trade agreement. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to roll Sardis over so hard in, in rage. <laughs> Based on how all of this has gone down for me. Ugh. Sardis and the Seleucids are going freaking down. Oh my god, did the Seleucids take over? They took over Cyprus. They did. They have Salamis. Okay. All right, then. Oh, hey, there's a Seleucid fleet here. Good to know. We're going to end this turn. Oh, okay. We got Seleucid movement. There's an army coming up through Mazaka. Their hero has gone after my capital. The army has gone back away from Mazaka. And, oh, sweet. The Cappadocians helped me out with my rebels. And then left. Thanks. I'll take it. Okay, hidden nation exposed. Rebellion in Ankyra. Mission failed. Don't care. All right. He tried to subvert my settlement, and he failed. Construction complete. Enemy army retreats. Trait gained for my king. Minus 2% tariff income from trade agreements. <laughs> Great. New faction rises, rises the Turds. Uh, Triple populace in Cilicia. Household expands from Makari plus two morale for all units. Okay. We're going to go ahead and convert this building to the Artisan's Lodging. It provides a garrison of two Galatian swords. Um, that's fine. That's fine. I think it's time we take back Iconium going to declare war on it since I'm already at war with the Seleucids anyway. We take this settlement in the name of rock and roll. Okay, we're going to go with that aggressive stance. Give that back. Give that back. Sardis has been destroyed again. Um, we're going to convert this over to our sacred enclosure. We're going to get a rebellion here soon, because the Cappadocians killed my rebellion a little bit too quickly. And guess what we're hiring? Levy Freeman. You guessed it. I've got 106 funds remaining, so I doubt I'm going to be able to do anything to this guy. Uh, nope, sure can't. But I can scout out and see what the uh, Seleucids are up to. So I'm going to start, yeah, there's their army. 
and how are things at Pessinus? We're probably going to get a rebellion there soon, but I'm back up to two armies. I've got Cide as well. It's going to be two, three more turns, and I'll have a rebellion there. There's a fleet out here that could make life miserable for me here, but hey. <sighs> making progress. Making progress. Let's end another turn. Two steps forward, one step back. This is the point in the episode where the Seleucids are going to take something back from me that I just took from them. But that's all right. It's okay if that happens that way. We'll deal with it. Neoptolemus uh, tried to raid in Kyra and was successful, weakening the garrison. I have a rebellion now, again. Iron tools have been complete. My, uh, my protection from secession or civil war is ending. That's fine. I'm going to have you attack this punk and go after him to kill him. Another auto resolve for sure. Excellent. Excellent. And let's, uh, it's just rebels, so we're going to go ahead and release them, get the money. And then we're going back to Enkaira. Let's go ahead and upgrade her. Oh, we get household. Okay, and Heroic Warrior, kiss my axe. 5% melee attack skill for all units, that's good. 7% shots per minute for all units, that's also cool. Melee attack skill, longsword for zeal. Let's, um, 5% melee attack skill for all spear armed infantry units and 5% melee attack skill for all units during battles against Hellenic factions. Yes, please. <laughs> you got it. And we're going to go ahead and give her strategist. She's going to go down the strategist route. Okay, I've got my iron tools. This would give me food if I finish out this route. So we're going to go ahead and pick up animal husbandry. We're going to recruit some more, you guessed it, Levy Freeman. Now then, there's a garrison here at Mazaka of eight. There's an army here of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, ten. So there's 18 troops there, and I've got this. I've already used up too much money to do any major subversion, I believe. Yes, yes I have, okay. Ooh. The Nabataeans have besieged Antioch. After Mazaka, the only thing the Seleucids are probably going to have left is Salamis. This is good news. This is very good news. I'm actually going to go for it, because uh, if I don't like what I see, oh man, okay, yeah, auto-resolve, let's do that. <laughs> I was about to say, if I don't like what I see, I can just besiege it, let them come out and attack me, fight with them in the open field, and then bring the other army up and take Mazaka, but this is great, okay, okay, and we will occupy, you better believe it. Increase in rank for my king. A whole bunch of ranks gained all across the board. Oh no, it's there's a special building here, isn't there? There is. I can upgrade everybody's armor. Freaking yes. Oh, I have to do it one at a time. All right, here we go. Watch my money disappear, do da, do da. Who too low for my voice right there? <laughs> Watch my money disappear, oh do do da day. Yep, totally worth it. I'll get everybody else later. Uh, I can keep that gymnasium for now. This is going to need to get converted eventually. I'll need 777 funds for it. That's fine. So, I'm going to get another rebellion in, uh, in Galatia at Cappadocia. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I could handle another rebellion. Pestis is going to get a rebellion in two turns, and Cide is going to get a rebellion in two turns. But we're making progress. That is that is the magic word here. Um, let's 
let's go find the Seleucid fleet, shall we? Because the Seleucid fleet is the only thing that's left to make a significant difference other than what's here at Salamis. Okay, let's end that turn. Uh, oh, right, unassigned skill points. Um, make him even more wealthy. Sounds good to me. So this, uh, this episode's been working out for me. I've not been fighting as many battles, and, you know, sorry, I guess. But these auto-resolve results are just too dang good. The best advice I picked up was from, uh, from Linksy's, um, oh, yes. Absolutely yes. Okay. I watched Linksy's, uh, guide to, like, the first 10 or 20 turns of Galatia, and one of the things he said is that, auto resolve in this game is based off of melee defense and that has been the most important thing i've learned okay the hearth keeper this woman has proven herself quite capable of organizing labor in her family's large household she is stern but effective okay so i can hire her uh i'll gain an important character or i can refuse her and gain plus six loyalty for all political parties uh it's apparently a favor you could delegate that issue to the clan leaders and perhaps gain their favor hmm Sure. I mean, loyalty just sounds nice. Okay, I got a rebellion. Peace negotiated between Medea and Persia. Drangiana and Persia. Seleucids in Persia. I'm going to guess that um, the Persians uh, are back under the thumb of the Seleucids or something like that. Construction report. Households expanded. Outraged populace. Okay. I need you to find the Seleucids for me. Man, that was a terrible movement. Okay. I'm about to get rebellions out this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy in. Oh wait, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually doing that. Well, uh, we're going to march to Iconium. And here, we are going to do the upgrades. There we go. I, I could probably just let this rebel army grow for one more turn, because it'll give me, it'll give me another, like, 20 points of uh, public order. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and recruit. Oh, we don't. Well, we'll. I'm going to kill it. I'm just going to kill it. Gonna kill it and then go uh, go into um, my next province over. Every every army I kill is experience and money gained. So this is the this is the rebellion economy, just like Shogun Two, right? Right. Release the captives, gain the wealth. No, you are going to go into forced march to Pessinus. Why is it forbidden? And then we're going to also upgrade your uh, weapons there. And, I mean, as long as we have money, we'll upgrade those weapons as well. Okay, it's another turn end. Cook it along. Here we go. So apparently, uh, in the last episode, and this is from a comment I got, the reason my guy got ambushed when I was the one... Um, they, when they attacked me. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, the reason for that, it, it has something to do with the, um, the forced march stance. If somebody attacks you while you're in forced march stance, there's a chance it could be an ambush, which, bleh, I think it's disgusting. But, hey, it, it can happen, I, I guess. Alright, so here's my rebellion down here at Seed Hay. I'm just going to go ahead and march down here, take care of that rebellion with this army. Uh, he's run away. Fine, I'll just go kill him by trespassing. Auto resolve. Killing off some rebels. Killing off some rebels. You're welcome, Cypris. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that uh, army back in my land now after distributing that wealth. Okay, so he's out of movement. So what I'm gonna do is go into Force March. March back to, up here towards Iconium. We're gonna get another rebellion here in C-Day, but that's all right. 
So notice a trend. <laughs> Let's go ahead and spend the money on the upgrades. This might even translate into more melee defense. Hold on, 59? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I just ran out of money there. Oh well. Let's go kill these rebels. Get back here. Another auto resolve. Right in the foot. Right in the neck. There we go. And we're taking their money. I keep releasing them, and maybe they'll eventually learn that being, you know, rebelling isn't smart. We're gonna get back up here to, to Pessinus. We've got uh, details to upgrade. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Tactician for more campaign movement range? You betcha. Okay, now let's take a look at that stance description real quick. All right, force march stance. Forces in the stance cannot initiate battles. Forces in the stance are always ambushed when attacked. Ouch. Ouch. Warhammer 2 has been coddling me. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I've gotten a pretty pretty decent chunk of land here now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go back to upgrades. That's upgraded now. Okay, end that turn. There's the next Seleucid army that I'm gonna need to worry about. I was actually kind of hoping they'd go after Tarsus. Sweet. All of a sudden, everybody wants to trade with me now. I think they realize I'm the, I'm the dominant power in Turkey now that the Seleucids are gone. I am the new Seleucids. <laughs> Don't mind my outrageously long and thick thick hair and and gall accent I'll, I'll agree to a to a non-aggression pact with uh with gnosis i'm getting so many greek friends now this is great it's like the greeks realized they oh bizaka fell to rebels yes 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 please yes please okay and the need of cavalry despite your undoubted military might some have drawn attention to the fact that your cavalry lacks strength and numbers um i'm uh Sure, I guess Rally Horsemen. Uh, gonna have rebellions all over the place. Settlement lost. Resor Wait, I lost that settlement? I lost Mazaka? Mazaka was mine and I lost it? Mazaka was mine. The rebels rolled right on in and there wasn't a battle. For some reason, I thought that was Tarsus. Ugh. Silly rebels. Okay. In that case, we're gonna go over here into this dance and we're gonna go take it back. None of them will escape. They're all doomed. Wow. Look at the auto resolve. They're dead. Get out of here, you chumps. Take that back. We're gonna rebuild it the right way this time. Uh, I'll just can uh, I'll just dismantle that building. I'm gonna need it for something else. I don't mind the gymnasium, but let's see where was I? We're gonna work on craft specialization now. I already have rebels down here. Uh, how far can you get without being in? Is that close enough to support the town? I don't think it is. Four rebels. Do I have a garrison here right now? I have seven. I could probably hold off for a turn. Um, let's just march down here. They won't rebel yet, and I can pick up. I can't afford it, even with the uh, the discount. <laughs> pick up one more. Oh no, wait, not you. Pick up one more levy freeman. There we go. The levy freeman spam is real, folks. It's very real. Okay, there goes the Salamis army. Let's keep following it just to 
just so we know where it is. <sighs> okay. I'm getting through a lot of turn ends here, but I'm also making, you know, big, big uh, expansions. Um, no. No, I'm, I might be going to war with you in Pontus soon, so. How about if you join my war against the Seleucids? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You talk a good game about being defensive alliance, uh, allies, but not when it comes to, uh, not when it comes to that. Okay, well, the Seleucid army is still just sitting out here. I think this is the same guy, too. Yeah, it is. Athanas, it is. The same army and everything. You did pick up some Persian archers. Sparta has been encountered. As you can see, I'm still dealing with many rebellions, but... I'm, uh, I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep killing the rebels, and I'm gonna keep picking up monies. You know what? Fine. Be in Tarsus. Let's see what happens to you if you're over there. I am gonna kill you, though. No, you don't get to go away. You come back here. Get back over here. Goodbye. This is how you get a veteran army. This is how you get top tier generals and armies. Before you even get to like recruiting better units anyway. <laughs> oh, I killed them. Whoops. Forgot. I forgot. All right. Well, we're going to go have to go into forced march just to get back to Mazaka here before we get another rebellion. Oh man. Okay. Pestness is about to rebel, right? Yes it is. Yes it is. I should probably head back that way. So I will. They might turn around to attack me at Sea Day, but I bet you I can fight them. Let's pick up a harbor. This is uh, additional wealth for manufacturing. Or the fishing huts. That's maritime commerce. Um, can I see the... Okay. Heavy Raider Galatian Swords. Assault Raider Celtic Tribesmen. I think I want the harbor. I think I'm going to want the harbor. Okay, well then. That's it for my funds this turn. Let's end another run and see what happens. I am going to have a fight, I promise. I'm just I'm just having too much fun with these auto-resolve results. They're, they're too good. I have no intention of fighting Athens anytime soon, so I'll agree to the non-aggression pact. The Greeks are just knocking down my doors right now. Three or four turns ago, I couldn't get them to talk to me. But now... Oh, sweet. Wow. Okay, no, this is gonna be fun. Who wants to watch, who wants to watch somebody else fight my rebels for me? <laughs> this is my army. I, yeah, I'm doing this. Let's do this. This will be fun. I'm going to enjoy this one. Bithynia is really trying to impress me right now with their, uh, with how good they are. <laughs> They're like, see how good friends we are? Let's start the battle. I want to select my armies now. You think? We are the reinforcements. Pay attention. Keep up. Look at these chumps. All y'all are chumps. These guys are chatty. These guys are not. Okay, well. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna dive right on into the Peltists. Let's uh, let's follow this in action. 
Light horse. Going to kill some peltists. We're definitely getting slowed down by the by the scrubs here. Here comes the Theros Spears to distract us from our goal. That's a hit. And let's get out of there. We got six of them? We only got six of them? Oh, jeez. You took horrific casualties for that. Oh, my goodness. Stay away from the Peltists. Uh, hey, horse skirmishers, you might not want to dive on in on that. I see what you're thinking about doing, Bithynia. Well, I am here to watch you guys fight my battles for me, so why the heck not? I didn't realize it was allied with them. <laughs> I thought I said no to that. Oh, they're getting some kills on the companion cavalry, though. Let's get some javelins in here, eventually. So much skirmishing. Ooh, lots of dead horses. Are they coming after me? They are coming after me. They've made up their minds. Cool. Oh, there goes their, their general. Goodbye, rebels. We hardly knew ye. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll walk it off. Would you horsemen kindly use your javelins on these peltists? I'd be very appreciative. You do have javelins. Would you please use them? Frenzied charge. That sounds fun. Okay, well that, that charge is a bit more effective than the last one, I'd say. We done here? We're done here. Plutarchos. I'll remember that name. Excellent. We'll go ahead and... Oh, that's 588 wealth for releasing him. You bet we will. Defensive allies of Pergamon. Okay, we'll do a non-aggression pact, sure. We'll see how long you hold to it. Another rebellion is imminent. Oh man. Votive offering. For public order. All provinces. Hey! That's useful. Epirus has been destroyed. Didn't even get to meet Pyrrhus. Oh well. And Iron Workshops is done. Okay. Okay. Well then. All right, well, I'm gonna move to Iconium. And then this army can go into normal stance right here and stay here. Hey, I staved off a rebellion for a turn. Look at that. Okay, now for my money. Let's take a peek, see what I can do. Not much, Mizaka does need this, something done here. What is this, the well? public order and growth. I do like the sound of that. But I could also do with the mine at Mazaka. Mazaka does have iron. 
Okay, so we're going to go for the mine. And we're going to recruit some more Levy Freeman. Just the one, it's all I can afford. And then we're going to upgrade that one. And we're going to end a turn. Okay, the Seleucids have a fleet and an army now. That's Salamis. So the next place that I would be threatened is going to would have to be um, C Day. Okay, got tribal economy done. A daughter has come of age. Rebellion is imminent in Asia. Okay. So that's tribal economy for plus three food. Let's go back to military. Uh, yeah, let's do mast charge. We'll finish up warrior code. I have another little thing that requires my attention. The tribe grows fractious. Really? Okay. Two groups within it have been caught fighting to prove who is the most bloodthirsty. So let the gods witness the greatness of your chosen warrior band. Organize a fight. The whole tribe will decide who is superior. Mediate. Unity is needed. The tribe against, is uh, the tribe against all or do nothing. Let's organize a fight. Let's see it. Let's put it on. Let's put it on display. Let's do the show. Let's have the thing. Okay, so Brog Dewey is. Oh, she is an angry child with dreadlocks. I like you. <laughs> a hearth friend. Hmm. Soothsayer, Wiseman, Shield Bearer. This might be my. Uh, she's she's got a look of a pirate about her. I might make her my um, my uh, fleet commander. Okay. Well then, actually, you know, let's take the time to actually look at um, you know politics and stuff. Um, just to just is it just to get a feel for everything. So we've got seventy six percent influence. We are currently beloved. Um, we're a kingdom. We can actually change to, like, empire and stuff. Imperium level 5. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I do like that. I mean, we could be in a union if we wanted to. It's awesome. Alright, um... Yeah, we gotta keep working on our Imperium. I don't own one whole province yet, which is kind of kind of nutty. Politics, other parties. The Warhorse Clan is my other party. Uh, they've got a bigoted leader. Minus one loyalty for each province where the player's culture is not dominant. Mercantile and subversive. Yeah, their party is not all that significant in my in my faction. That's a neat little thing. Oh, I can... That's pretty cool. It, for just, like, the... The mere penalty of minus two... Minus two loyalty? Yeah, sure. Uh, wait. Didn't want to do that. No. Wait. Go away. What does this even do? Sending it to a loyal uh, party to further improve these relations. Two grab toss from the initiator. Two loyalty for target party. No, let's do. Uh, let's send a diplomat. This sounds fun. Um, wow, Bithynia really likes us. That's funny. There's a bunch of people that really like us right now. This is great. Let's send that diplomat to Tylus, however, because I bet you I could probably confederate Tylus sometime soon. Um. Holy cow, all of a sudden, I'm in a very good position. Let's take a look at my economy. I'm, I'm definitely not earning enough. Um, and I can't really afford to raise taxes because I, my public order is really hurting. Um, if I lower my tax level, you know, I can manage the, the way the taxes are right now. Be quiet, you. Okay. So... Here's my trade partners. I'm currently trading out plenty of iron. 
Um, let's see if I can't find more trade partners. Starting with the people who like me. Bithynia, you like me. Maybe you want to trade with me. Okay, now how do we sweeten the pot in a way that I'll like? Uh, pay me. Just straight up pay me. Demand payment. 5,000. Low. Okay. I might not be able to afford much. They'll do it. Okay, fine. 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 I'll give you just a straight up trade deal. Why not? Feeling generous. Cyprus, as long as you still exist, I want you to trade with me. And you will pay me 1000 for it. No, you will pay me 500 for it. Good, okay. All right. Uh, Nabatea. Okay, they're trading with me now. That's good. Egypt. Hello, Egypt. Hello. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. So here, you're worth the solutions too. Well, I'll tell you what. How about we get a non-aggression pack going? Okay. That'll that'll build us up towards the possibility of a trade agreement later. I'm making friends with so many Greeks. This is great. Pontus, I'm probably going to be at war with you soon. I'm just saying. Like, we do currently have. Uh, do we? We don't have a nap with them. We could actually just straight up go to war with these punks. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. Okay, so I'm going to have to deal with some rebellions here soon. Let's go ahead and move this force. To Pessinus. Alright, so I'm going to get a rebellion at Ankyra or Iconium or somewhere, and Pessinus, uh, except that she's arrived, so there's no longer going to be a rebellion there. We've got some time here. We're going to get a rebellion in Ankyra, but I have this army in position to deal with it most likely. Okay. Semisada is still too far away. I don't really want to push Pergamon out. I'm trading with them after all. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of hopeful that the Seleucids will... We'll just try to take over Tarsus. That'd be really the best case. Wow. Okay, that's a Tower Pentaries. I didn't expect to see a Tower Pentaries over here. Okay. Um, we're gonna... Any buildings to upgrade that I can afford? The answer to that is no. No, and... Not yet. Okay, end of turn. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Breaking a man is easy. Breaking his spirit, less so. Even kept in darkness, a man may look to break his bonds and seek revenge. I deserve it. I deserve it. I don't think I've ever seen that, that video before. That was pretty cool, though. Oh, that is a significant rebellion. Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a nice little cliffhanger. Right, right before I fight these slaves. That was not a small rebellion. Not at all tiny. The Ptolemus has done a raid. Slave result in Mazaka. Failed diplomacy. Oh, come on. She brought a death sentence on herself? I didn't even know that was a consequence. I just lost my... What? That's frustrating. I guess the game has taught me not to do that anymore. Thank you, game. You, you, not even a description of what the risk was. Like, 
That is frustrating. That is very frustrating. No description of that as a consequence. I don't even remember who I sent her to to be a diplomat for. Was it, it was Tylus, wasn't it? <gasps> no. Tylus. Come on. Oh. What my almost would have understood if it was a Greek, but it wasn't. Alright, what's in this army? Mob. Hillman, ooh, Eastern Spears, Noble Blood. What kind of slave is this with the Noble Blood Cavalry? <laughs> uh, sorry to say they're, uh, uh, sorry to say they're Makari, your sister died because she didn't know how to talk to non-Greeks, apparently. Let's go fight this. Get back here. Get back here. That's it. There it is. And I am going to fight this, just not this time. I'm going to fight this next time because it's going to be so cathartic, just slaughtering all of these uh, upstart uh, slaves. I take no pleasure in killing slaves, actually. I kind of hate it. I don't like that slavery is, is so highly represented in these games, but and so flippantly, but... I am going to have fun beating the tar out of an enemy army, considering how much I got my butt kicked in earlier games. I just realized he's got one of those little pigs on his hat. I'm going to have to change his army banner to uh, to be the appropriate pig. But that's for next time, because right now I'm done. I've been going on long enough. So thank you all so much for watching. Ta-ta. I love you all. See you guys in the next video.